UPS is here. Trust Brown. Okay, UPS unloaded. They double boxed it for some reason, who knows, but huge shout out to Fast Tech Performance for giving getting this to me as quickly as they did. I ordered it on Monday. It is Wednesday. Uh, I don't know the time frame when this video is going to go live, but we are going to install this bad boy tonight and hopefully get the car up and running again and I'll unbox it and show you what she looks like. So let's do it. One piece chromoly drive shaft. And like you can see where they balanced it. At least I think these are balance weights. Here she is. Let's see. We specialize in the impossible. Oh, do you now? Do you now? But there's the bad boy. It does have the billet aluminum attachment housings. They have lots of descriptions of why they do it that way versus the um, rubber that comes on it, but this is gonna be a much more stronger connection. We'll see exactly where the stock shaft broke. We believe on the stock shaft in the center, there's a slip joint. We believe that's where it broke. But again, this being a nice big one piece, hopefully it should last. Okay, it's time, well, I, I actually, I never, I didn't, I don't even, did I even start this? I can't remember if I started this video off right. I think I got so excited that the UPS guy showed up with the actual drive shaft. But anyways, car's here, Mike's here, drive drive shaft is down, come on camera, go, go, go right there, and uh, yeah, and we got lots of lighting, it's dark, as you can see, and it's not even late, what time, it's like, what, six o'clock? So, full moon, it was the blood moon the other day, or the blue blood, or red blood, blue, blue. I don't even know, but um, yeah, time for some fun. Let's uh, let's see how terrible the stock drive shaft looks. That's the one thing that I'm curious about right now. So let's do it. Well, the car's jacked up. I got Monkey Mike under here. He's like, he's so small he fits. Like I don't really fit on a car on the floor. We're loosening up the exhaust. Uh, I think we're gonna try to put the drive shaft in without removing the exhaust or dropping it. Uh, we'll find out if that's possible. But uh, yeah, we got lighting, the car's up on stands, and uh, yeah, let's do it. My air compressor is still pumping. Hands oil, get your oil. Anyway, so Mike went under the car, as you saw, and was monkeying around on it, and the exhaust does not want to move at all. So we're gonna drop the exhaust. A little more work, whatever. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna get under and start helping. Getting the first look at the drive shaft in. Well, I guess it is laying on that uh, brace. It's flat. Laying on what brace? Oh, is that where it broke? Oh, oh, that's <laughs> that's not supposed to move like that. I don't think we're gonna need the cutoff wheel. Huh? I don't think we'll need the cutoff wheel. Why would we need the cutoff wheel? To look inside of it. Oh, it, it's a clean brake, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> nice. Pieces falling out of here. Woo! Carnage. <laughs> First piece of the drive shaft. 
I'm blocking the light again, but I'm trying to climb up under here so you guys could see. But it snapped right here, right in the center. Good old drive shaft. We'll pull it out. We'll be able to get a better look at it in two pieces. I guess technically you are with leverage. Oh. Ba-ding. Oh, look at that clean break. You can just see the metal. <laughs> Sheared. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's supposed to look like that, boss. Holy cow. Okay, first look. I can't see. Hold on, I can't see what you guys can see. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That just straight to the core. It, the nice thing is, is it contained most of the damage. I mean, it sat right in there. Uh -huh. That's crazy. So Mike just looked at it. We had a little discussion uh, when it first broke, and he's like, you know what probably happened is, on that third run you did, it probably twisted. And so what he's looking at right now is where it twisted. And then the fourth run just said, peace out, and it sheared. <laughs> yeah? That's exactly what happened. So the crazy vibrations that I remember in my video where I was like breaking, I'm like, dude, that run didn't feel smooth. It was super shaky. It was vibrating. Yep, that's what happened. So at this point, instead of getting in the car and sliding into neutral, Mike's just pulling the shifter because it's just sitting right there and it's an automatic. So he's pulling the, the plate off and going to shift it into neutral. And that will allow us to free twist it so he can get to all the bolts. Oh, this is light. <laughs> yeah, remember what, remember what heavy it was the first time? Oh, wow. Yeah. That's not supposed to be twisted, is it? Nope. Oh, my goodness. Those are supposed to be nice and smooth. Hey, so. I can't see if you guys can see. I hope this is coming through. There we go. So, uh, lighting. See those splines? Those aren't supposed to be at an angle. Those are supposed to be straight. Yeah, not bueno. So that's what twisted. And then there's the clean. Sorry, the camera's not focusing, of course. GoPro problems. But hopefully you guys could see that enough to see how it, it just sheared off. Oh, that is not pretty. There you go. There is a broken drive sh stock drive shaft. I said transmission in the outtake, I promise. But it's out. It didn't do really any damage. There's some rub marks underneath. I'm going to crawl under there to see if I can show you what it looks like. And, uh, yeah. Yay. Underneath the car, you can see this is where the front part of the drive shaft was. There's a little bit of rubbing, but really isn't any damage. I got pretty lucky here, I think, guys. Pretty dang lucky. Stock drive shaft. Drive shaft shop drive shaft side by side uh, obviously much bigger this one will support all the power of my dreams that I need and if not I can upgrade to the carbon fiber with them but I'm not doing that uh, there's a big side uh, for the billet uh, aluminum plate and the small side the big side is what attaches to the transmission side the small side attaches to your diff so for you install guys looking for an install guide here there you go Big side, tranny, small side, differential. <sighs> but man, she's pretty. And you will need um, Allen keys. What do, do you know what size it is? Is it this one? Uh, so far, I've only used 8 millimeter. So 8 millimeters working? So that's 8 mil. I don't know about these inside ones, though. Yeah, that's 8 mil, too. So 8 mil... Allen socket, you're gonna need one of these. Cause a hand little elbow creased Allen key is not gonna work so great. And I don't, I haven't said it enough, but I just wanna call this out. I got the drive shaft shop drive shaft. This is the chromoly one again. I wanted the aluminum, but drive shaft shop has no ETA when they're gonna come in or be back in stock. 
So I went with the Chromali. The Chromali is actually going to be a stronger setup, I believe. And with that being said, huge shout out to Fast Tech, not only for having the product in stock and be able to get it to me, but in getting it to me as fast as they did. So I ordered it on Monday. It is Wednesday. I love you guys. Thanks, Ricardo. At this point, Mike is under the car and he is putting the bolts in from the backside on the transmission side to put the billet aluminum plate that then marries up with the drive shaft. Uh, I have my little camera down there, so hopefully it's capturing what he's doing. Literally, he's just threading the bolts in to get it all good to go. The front adapter is installed, bro. The bill aluminum pieces are in place, front and back, so we're good. Mike is wiping down the inside of the drive shaft tunnel because there was grease and junk all everywhere, and then there is some exposed metal. So we are gonna paint it. Oh, Mike's gonna paint it a little bit just to cover up the exposed metal and give my baby her first tattoo. Is this what you painted your phone on? No. So at this point, Loctite on the bolts. Yes. Let's do it. Okay, if you're wondering what we're doing now, BMR suspension. We got my uh, drive shaft loop. So officially finally putting that in the car. GM does do a pretty good job with theirs. They do have kind of a draft shift loop in there, but it doesn't fully fill in the whole thing. Got to protect those legs. Yeah. So you can see BMR drive shaft loop. It's got four bolts. Got to get a, not the, uh, they're the, uh, the Allen, right? The Allen bolts you're putting in there. Uh huh. And there is a washer. So you put the loop over your drive shaft, obviously, and then there's the bottom base plate that connects it and completes the loop. As you can see, when the drive shaft ships to you, there are blue lines. They mark that for balance reasons and you wanna make sure those line up. So we're getting the bolts threaded so it's in. Again, we put the drive shaft loop in from BMR, so now we're fully protected. And when they ask me if I have a drive shaft loop, I can honestly say yes. So with your drive shaft loop from BMR, you got two of these spacers. These are for the front of the transmission to drop it down. So your drive shaft isn't hitting your drive shaft loop. So you do have to drop the transmission mount on both sides. You'll want to get a jack to support the transmission so it doesn't fall on your face. And uh, you'll re you'll just put those in there and you're good to go. Yeah. 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 Now with those two braces or those two extended, God, what are they called? Those two spacers. For the transmission now your drive shaft doesn't rub the loop good job okay guys so the drive shaft is in all the bolts are tightened drive shaft loop is in huge shout out to bmr again uh not a completely nightmarish install it's actually pretty easy so it's just four bolts easy enough well actually it's four bolts to mount the drive shaft loop 
and then there's the two bolts on each side for the tranny mounts. So, yeah. Now it's a matter of putting the car back together again. So I'm gonna fast forward through this, and uh, hopefully we have a driving car here in just a moment. Me and Mike were laughing. I was like, I have open headers right now. I wonder how loud it is. It's a little late, unfortunately. But man, I'd love to know what it sounds like. <laughs> through the store. First off, I want to apologize because when we finished the drive staff install, I completely didn't close it out for some reason I thought I did. And on top of the video, I didn't even open it up in my standard intro. But either or, a couple things you need to consider. The install wasn't too difficult, but some of the things that you want to highlight that I talked with Drive Shaft Shop about and after the install, uh, drove the car around, making sure there's no harmonic vibrations or anything like that. The biggest thing is Drive Shaft Shop balances their drive shafts at you know, seven, eight, nine thousand RPM crazy levels. A lot of shops, other shops or other companies that do it, they only balance from 400 to 3000 RPM. So you're really never getting the drive shaft all the way up into the RPM band of what you would potentially be driving your car at. So that's one of the other reasons why I went with drive shaft shop because they do some crazy testing on their stuff. The other side is install wise, the shaft can go either which way. I did highlight you know what side goes which way but after talking with drive shaft shop they're saying you could technically put the drive shaft either which way in some instances uh you could get vibrations and by flipping it it fixes the problem um it, there's just so many different variables now keep in mind i have the drive shaft loop in there it dropped the transmission i was saying i'm like dude that dropped the transmission like that much is that going to put the drive shaft out of line no it won't because the way the drive shaft is set up and designed it works perfectly fine so We've done quite a few high speed runs with the car. No issues, no crazy vibrations. Uh, we, <laughs> my rear tires are basically bald as heck at this point. So I need to get my new r lates on and really uh, drive the car around and potentially even put my drag pack back on and do some takeoff, see how it feels and everything like that. But um, you know, zero up to 100, I haven't felt any vibrations. It's driving great, um, it's really good. So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this install. If you guys did, hit that subscribe button. If not, likes, comments, shares are appreciated. But if you have any questions, post them down below. Uh, it was a fun install. And for those of you guys who probably yell at me for laying underneath the car as long as I did while it was on jack stands, the car was put up on jack stands and we basically earthquaked the car. It was not moving. Uh, I mean, we pulled and pushed on the, uh, the exhaust. We did all sorts of things. The car was properly jacked up. It was not gonna fall. Could something happen? Could something fail? Yes. Is it very dangerous crawling under a car that's on jack stands? Yes, it is. Um, but you know, do it at your own risk and also do it um, the right way. You know, lift your car up properly uh, and don't let it fall on your face. I hope, I, I wanna get a post, uh, like a two post car lift in here. It would be pretty awesome. Even if I, I mean, I have a lot of room. Like if you see from here to the bottom of the garage door, I'm actually gonna get a new garage door opener too. Um, but there's quite a bit of room. Like if I can lift that car up, that's like three feet. If I had three feet under the car with a two post lift, that would be amazing. So, yep, there you have it. As always guys, thanks for checking it out. Also again, huge shout out to Mike, our bow tie britches on Instagram for helping me with the install here. Also shout out to Fast Tech Performance again for getting me the drive shaft as quick as they did. 
Unfortunately, Drive Shaft Shop doesn't seem either to be making the aluminum or carbon fiber ones or are just behind on getting them made and sent over. I don't know. I don't know the whole process, but they didn't have them. I couldn't get them. So I have a chromoly set up and it's it's running good. So we'll see how it all works out. But again, big shout out to all those guys. Again, Bowtie Britches, Fast Tech Performance. And uh, thanks for the awesome product, Drive Shaft Shop. Uh, and it's not too expensive. It really was not that expensive. So again, check it out. All the links and details uh, for Mike and Drive Shaft Shop and Fast Tech Performance down below. Uh, again, questions, post them below. But until next time, hope to see you on the road.